Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and good evening to Year 11 as well. Welcome to Gosford Hill School's Sixth Form Information Evening. So, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Nigel Sellers, head teacher, and we'd like to warmly welcome you to an important evening. So, clearly, we're joining you under strange times, um, and I just want to start by kind of saying something about that. So, first of all, I want to thank Year 11 students um, at Gosford Hill for the work that you're doing. The engagement that you've got with your teachers so that you're continuing your important work towards your GCSEs. I also want to welcome those students and parents who've joined us from other schools. Um, welcome to our school open evening and we hope you find the information that you want um, this evening. Um, I'd like to thank staff as well for the work they've been doing with students. Um, they've been working around the clock tirelessly to support you and um, as we've said to our students here, as soon as we have clarity on what um, arrangements are in place nationally for your GCSEs will be in touch but we want clarity first before we communicate to you um, although I appreciate it's anxious times for all of you um, but what I would say to you is don't worry about the things that you have no control over so we know that none of us have control over what the summer is going to be like in terms of um, your GCSEs uh, but actually worry about the things that you do have control over and that's the kind of message I want to leave you with this evening so it's an important crossroads for you as students because you're thinking about what your future holds and what you want to do in the future and that's something that you have absolute control over. So forget worrying about one of the things that you don't have any control over and take the opportunity this evening to think about yourself, think about your future and think about what you want to do and use the resources that are available to you and around you, so um, existing students who are doing A-level courses and teachers who know about those courses to find out what is going to suit you best for your future. We're a very academic sixth form here, we're a high performing sixth form. Over the last few years we've been one of the best performing sixth forms in Oxfordshire um, and so we have a lot to celebrate in school and that's down to the hard work and the determination of the students that we work with. And We're very privileged to work with some fantastic students who've gone on to um, experience huge success in whatever they've chosen to do. We regularly get students that go into Oxbridge um, and are really successful. But equally, alongside all of the academic work that we do in our sixth form, we normally, in normal times, have a huge amount that goes on um, in terms of that extracurricular provision and that provision outside of the classroom for students to experience. And that's a really important part of our thriving sixth form. So um, I'm going to hand over very shortly to Mr Williams, who is our head of sixth form, but I'm also joined this evening by our head boy and head girl. And they're our best ambassadors because they'll tell you what it's really like to be at our sixth form. Um, and obviously you'll have an opportunity through the rooms that we've set up later on this evening to speak to people and find out for yourselves what it's like. So please don't feel that any question is too small to ask. And if you're not able to find out the information you want this evening, please get in touch with us and we'll get back to you. Uh, because it's important that you feel that you've got the right information to make the decisions about your future. So, without further ado, I'm going to hand over to Mr Williams, who is our Head of Sixth Form. Thank you. Hello, I'm Steve Williams, the Head of Sixth Form, and I welcome you all to our special Sixth Form virtual open evening. Tonight, we want to talk to you about our vibrant and active Sixth Form. You've heard from our Head Teacher, and I want to speak briefly, and a couple of our Year 13s will speak, followed by myself again at the end, where I'll wrap up details of the subject choices on offer. Now, please let me explain how the virtual opening evening is going to run. Let me go through the mechanics of this a little, okay? Uh, after we've all uh, spoken, you will normally be invited to our dedicated sixth form center where we would have our markets all set up, uh, where you would be able to meet and chat with our specialist A-level subject teachers and some of our current students as well. This year, uh, all our teachers have produced subject specific video clips, which are on our website, along with the prospectus and the course information booklet. Please, please feel free to watch them now or later at your leisure. You will also find links here to separate Google subject meetings where you can speak to teachers and current students. These are Q&A subject uh, meetings are open to all and open until seven o'clock tonight. Feel free to drop in to as many as you wish for technical reasons, if you're not logged in as a Gosford Hill user, please request access and the teacher will let you in. As these are public events, uh, you may wish to refrain from asking any private questions, but you are welcome to me email us and we will get back to you. Our email is sixform at gosford-hill.oxford.sch.uk, which you obviously can find details on our website. 
His Q&A meetings are subject specific, but if you have any general inquiries, I will be available in a separate one along with our Key Stage 5 pastoral assistant. All these details can be found on the website. Okay? Our aim is to support you to be the best possible version of yourself you can be in sixth form. We want you to leave Gosford Hill sixth form passionate and successful in the A-levels you have studied and prepared for the next stage in your journey as you bark into it. We are very much dedicated to the broader you and not just focused on the exam results. Now, whilst you have not got through the transition from year 11 into sixth form, you haven't even got your GCSEs yet, sixth form itself is a transition from childhood to adulthood, from school life to the world of work, apprenticeship or higher education at university. We recognise that and we support you through that journey. More than two thirds of our students leave Gosford Hill School to go to university. All types of courses are applied for, from medicine and engineering to foundation degrees. In the past few years, we've had great success with students gaining places studying veterinary medicine at Cambridge and others studying medicine at Edinburgh, universities all over the UK and others studying medicine, um, others as well studying internationally. Um, we also have a great success with Oxbridge and other Russell Group universities. We have a high record uh, for the, with these university applicants um, that, uh, over the last few years, and they're all gaining their first or second place choices. We currently actually have a year 13 student holding an offer to study material science here at Oxford University. If university is not your goal, we support you in re researching and applying for apprenticeships, training of other courses you're interested in, and I'm currently in the process of arranging mock, mock interviews for some of these students as well. We offer high support with our small classes with a dedicated and personalised approach. We know you best. In the Q&A subject meetings, uh, please do ask how big the classes are. Also, use that opportunity to discuss your subject choices for your A-levels. You don't need to do A-level law or A-level economics to, to, degree, to a degree in them. I don't know if you knew that. And However, you do need to study some sciences to study science, psychology, but not necessarily psychology itself. Do you need, do you need which, science, which science do you need to study medicine? I'm sure you might think it's biology, but actually it's chemistry. So please do talk to the teachers as they do, do know this as we go along. Uh, we have regular tracking and monitoring. Feedback is given and we are committed to working with you parents with a parents evening each year along with three progress reports. There is a strong experienced pastoral team of tutors with the sixth form leadership team supporting them as well. All offering information, support and guidance. We have an induction process that helps prepare you for the step up to independent learning in sixth form and help you inform and making the correct subject choices. Successful transition is made with good research. With this high support, we get high success. In the past few years, we've had a 99% pass rate for every A-level that's been entered for. Over 40% of all the grades have been awarded with a grade B and above, that's A star, A and a B. In fact, over a quarter of them were grades A and A star. Over 50% uh, in that in maths, and over 50% in chemistry. 100% of art students achieving A star to B. And also we're naturally del del uh, delighted with the achievements of loads of students. We've m we had a massive uh, 25 A stars and A's awarded in 2019. National analysis also of our data puts Gosford Hill sixth form in the top of the county for post 16 providers for sixth form progress from their starting point. And that's for the last four years running. And that's taken from where did they get for after their GCSEs to where did they get to at the end of sixth form massive progress we make there compared to a lot of um, other schools in the area. Um, also this year, I'd like to add something about our AS provision in sixth form. Um, since the reforms in A-levels, ASs haven't been on offer, but we are offering opportunities for year 12 to study an AS in maths or an AS in a modern foreign language, that will be French or German, alongside their three other A-level choices. Now, this is there for those that want to continue an interest in those subjects, maths or a language, but they don't necessarily suit their, nat their natural subject choices or where they might be ending up. Okay, so they can study this AS in year 12 and uh, sit the exams at the end of the year 12 in that subject and stop there. They will obviously leave with some UCAS points and some breadth to their knowledge. They are welcome to continue into year 13 if they wanted to, but I'm not too sure if um, um, students would like that, but leaving the three and a half A levels is um, uh, very much uh, a string to your bow. Uh, this could keep many options open to them and we are providing an excellent opportunity for breadth, 
which universities, apprenticeship providers and employers desire. I like to add that actually in these uncertain times that COVID has given to us, that you can be certain of a secure future with us at Cosford Hill. We, your teachers, have worked with you for many years now, for five years, and we know you best. We will be, of course, aware of any gaps in your learning brought on by these lockdowns and can work with you straight away on these to help with the transition to a &E. You know us best and you know your teachers and you know your school and you can be certain of the help and the support you will get from us. Recently, I asked our current students about their sixth form and here's a short list of things that they said that actually were very positive about their sixth form. The small classes, the teachers that know them best, the dedicated sixth form centre, their friends, their supportive tutors, the high pastoral support, the strong academic achievement that, that they, they know they're going to get, positive progress that they've seen over the last few years, the high um, UCAS success record, and detailed feedback that they get from their teachers. Yeah. A short list from them. Um, but I think the best people to tell you about uh, this um, in, from our sixth form is the students themselves to give their perspective. You'll hear from two of our year 13 students directly about their studies and experiences. Even though they've been tainted by COVID, they have a lot to say. Thank you. And uh, over to our head boy and head girl. Hi everyone, my name is Lexi Horn and I'm head girl here at Gosford Hill School. I'm currently in my second year of sixth form studying maths, further maths and drama and next year I wish to study maths at university. Gosford Hill has a fantastic range of subjects available to study at A-level, many of which carry on from GCSE. This was very important to me with my drama A-level as I was able to continue building on that bond I formed with my teachers which is something I felt very, was very important in such a creative and expressive subject. A big reason why I chose Gosford Hill was the small class sizes. Here we have on average 5 to 15 people in, this, in each class, compared to up to 30 in other schools. In my drama class there are 4 of us and 7 in maths. This means there's more opportunity to speak to your teachers, have any questions answered and the time for quality one-to-one -one contact. I found this to be very effective as it meant I could always go to my teachers for help, especially in these times with online learning. Each subject has eight hours of teaching per fortnight, and in most cases, two teachers per subject. I found that having more than one teacher was very helpful as it meant I could gain a different perspective from each teacher and have a combination of teaching styles, allowing me to keep my focus and interest in the topics. In addition to the teaching hours, we have study periods allowing time for, to catch up on homework, consolidate learning and revise for any upcoming work. I found this to be really useful as if I have a study period right after a lesson, it means I can continue the learning and do any homework that was set in that lesson. Also, if there wasn't enough time in the lesson to finish off the work set, I can complete it straight, straight away. A beneficial part of Gosford Hill, for, Gosford Hill Sixth Form is the fact that we have a separate block in the school dedicated to Sixth Form with classrooms, study rooms and the common room and kitchen. This allows for private study, silent study and the option to have a more communal group based area to study where we can gain the support from fellow students. In addition to the study rooms and study periods there is also an option for home study for students who are meeting their targets. I personally found home study very favourable as I, work, I find I work most productively at home with no distraction from other people and I am in charge of my own learning. It's a big jump from GCSE to A-level, however I feel like I've been supported all the way. Suddenly you have to start thinking about university, what you want to study, future career choices and many more daunting decisions. Hill, my teachers and Mr Williams were able to make the process very smooth and worry free. There are many resources available to help with writing, personal statements, the process of applying to university, but also showing a range of other options other than university and encourage you to aspire to, aspire to your goals. The pandemic has no doubt changed the way we live our lives, a big part of that being education, so the teaching of our A-levels has had to be adjusted. The sixth form has adjusted seamlessly to these changes. I feel I've gained masses of support from Mr Williams and Mrs Francis and all of my teachers making sure that I feel comfortable with my education and learning. They are, all, they are always there if I have any concerns or questions. We're all at home. This shows that Gosford Hill Sixth Form is ever-changing and adjusting with the current situation. 
and we are prepared for the hopefully unlikely event that no more remote learning is needed next year. Thank you for listening and I hope this has given you some insight into our sixth form, hopefully making your decision easier. Here is Hayden to speak to you more about the extracurricular opportunities. Thank you, Lexi. Hi, my name is Davies and I am the head boy here at Gosford Hill School. Currently, I am studying dra Geography, Drama and English Language and Literature in my second year of sixth form with the goal of studying Geography next year at university. Sixth form is a place where great focus is placed on academic success and individual achievement. However, there is also an equal focus on well-being and character development. We are provided with various opportunities which not only keep these focuses paramount, but also serves to help the students of Gosford Hill School to stand out from candidates from other schools, which has a huge positive impact on the application process for universities, apprenticeships or the workplace. The purpose of my speech is to inform you of the extracurricular opportunities that we have available at Gosford Hill Sixth Form and what will be available to you next year with the hopes that COVID-19 will be gradually disappearing behind us. The first aspect of Sixth Form I'm going to detail to you is a Sixth Form Committee. This is a group of students who dedicate a small portion of their time to organise social events such as themed dress-up days for charity and fundraising events. Pre-COVID, this also included events such as the Icebreakers, Summer Ball, and a traditional teachers versus sick from dodgeball, which is always a hit for the whole school, pardon the pun. Yearbooks have also been designed in previous years, as well as themes, coin sculptures for children in need. The application process to be a committee member is also great practice for future interviews, whether that be for a job, job or university, as it requires a level of CV construction and statement writing skills. We also have many opportunities to support our school community, and one is PALS. PALS stands for Portus Active Listeners and is a school initiative to support the mental health of our younger students, made up of a small group of sick formers who offer a one-to-one -one service for the younger members of the school. This is set up for students who may not feel comfortable speaking to teachers or senior members in the school community and would instead prefer to talk to another student about any other problems that are bothering them. The sick form applicants first undergo an interview and, succeeding that, training which will supply them with the skills to be able to approach and deal with the issues brought to them. Sixth form community service is also another activity that every student is involved in to support the whole school community and to broaden our experiences and gain transferable skills. During my first year of Sixth form, every student was required to perform one hour of community service per week. However, what you choose to do in that hour is completely up to you. Personally, I assisted with a year eight drama class where some of my friends helped in other classes the Learning Centre or other clubs and activities. As you can probably imagine, being able to choose your community service makes it an enriching activity and, in my opinion, it really helps bring diversity to the school week, especially during the more, uh, more stressful exam periods. In addition to this, there is an hour provided by an enrichment option subject. There are three choices which you can make at the beginning of the year. EPQ, an independent research project which counts as half an A-level. Young Enterprise, a business-based project with optional qualification included, or the Duke of Edinburgh Award Scheme, which builds key practical skills and this can be done at bronze or silver level. The key really is in the name when it comes to enrichment. Over time, you become more invested in what you've chosen to do, and each option gives back in its own unique way and adds to the sixth form experience. There are also other opportunities available to you as well. The annual ski trip, temporarily postponed this year, proved popular in all previous years and gives students the opportunity to discover or enhance their skills in the snow in the Alps of Northern Italy. On the topic of sport, last year there was a school football team with fixtures against surrounding schools. On Wednesday lunch times, there was also football played between five or six sixth form teams in the leisure centre which made for a competitive spectacle. This isn't only limited to football. Other sports teams can be created and, with enough participants, can rival local sixth forms. There is also the, uh, the Senior Choir, as well as the Debate Club, both which have proved popular. So with a large array of options, there are plenty of opportunities to invest yourself into activities outside of the curriculum at Gosford Hill Sixth Form. To conclude this speech, I cannot reiterate to you enough how important it is that academic achievement doesn't become the only focus of your Sixth Form lives. Of course, it's important to emphasise the amount of work required to succeed at A-level, however, in order to achieve your own personal goals, you have to be in the right frame of mind. And that is why extracurricular activities are so important. Whether your interests are in art, 
music, sports, reading or computing, it is of the utmost importance that you keep them up. Gosford Hill Sixth Form is such a good choice for you all. I cannot emphasise that enough. Best of, luck with, best of luck with your results and thank you for your time. I'll now pass you back over to Mr Sellers. Hello again. I'd like to tell you about our offer with the curriculum for September 2021. These are the subjects that we have on offer. I'm not going to read through them all, but you can see them there in front of you. And they are all represented in the course information booklet, which you will find on our website. Uh, we have two voc vocational courses, which is the computing IT one and the health and social care one, which is a double A-level award equivalent. There is also another double A-level award, which is further maths. So if you pick further maths, you're doing an A-level in maths and further maths of two A levels. Okay. Now the entry requirements are quite simple for sixth form. Students will need a grade four as a minimum requirement in both English and maths. Now that can be either English literature or English language, but you do need a grade four as a minimum in both. Um, students that uh, also will need to achieve a average point score of 4.5 from their best eight A level, uh, GCSE subjects. Now, um, that does mean then we, that if you're thinking about this, that you will need at least as a minimum some fours and some fives or equivalent to make sure you get into um, sixth form and to meet the rigor and challenge of which A-levels um, bring with them. There are individual subjects that will have specific entry requirements and the details of them can be found in the course information booklet. So please, please refer to the course information booklet and the prospectus carefully for those additional requirements. Uh, now, choosing your subjects, and we here at Gosford Hill School don't want to dictate to anyone um, any choices. Now, you will hear this about certain schools and certain um, uh, six forms that they will say choose a subject from option line A, option line B, option line C, and you might have some restriction. We don't work like that at Gosford Hill School. We want to work with you, and we ask students to select any of the subjects that they wish to study, and we will do our very much utmost to make it work for you and in the last couple of years we have made it work for all our students that have applied that they get to do the subjects that they wanted to do. When you complete your application form though we'd like to ask you to, do, to put down three subject choices and a reserve just in case and we'll do our best obviously to make sure you get those first choices. These, This application form by the way you will find the link to it on our website. Uh, we then will have interviews in late February where sixth form tutors and senior teachers will meet you, each and every one of you and your application to discuss and confirm your subject choices. Just thinking about a few of those key dates then. So what we're saying is that there's an application deadline for Friday the 5th of February. Now that does seem quite quick, quick and it does make me, people think, oh, right, what happens if I miss Friday the 5th of February? We will still accept applications from anybody after Friday the 5th, but what we're saying is we will design our um, option box from uh, from that Friday the 5th there. So to get the best choice that you would like, please get your application in by Friday the 5th. Um, otherwise, your application will be considered, but we might not quite make it fit for what, for what, for what you would like. Okay? Um, admission interviews will be had on the 24th um, of February. These will obviously be virtual and um, you will receive a confirmation letter um, sometime in April. And we are planning to have a sixth form introduction day at some point in June or July and we will get dates to you um, at some point when we, we can plan for that. So uh, thank you very much for listening to us. Now, if you would like to uh, look at the website, Go and look at all those subject videos and then go and join any of the meetings where you can meet any of the subject teachers and talk to the students as well. Okay, I do hope um, you will enjoy this evening and thank you very much for listening.